The 1912, the flood year, that wiped the shoes out of the fields and that rained out two or three days and I thought it would never got to leave off no more. Of course, our corn was all wet. I dried some of them, you know, but uh, where well, they stood up on a, on a shark, but the, them what were laid down, they were putrid, they were. I shall never forget that. That was that hot summer. Mm -hmm. Very hot summer, the old hens was going about dragging the wings on the ground. Yeah. The old ducks come out of the pond, they'd have them soon back in again because that was so hot. <laughs> Norfolk has a long tradition of preserving its wildlife by protecting natural features. The spring at Burnham Norton has been flowing since at least 1241, when Carmelite friars chose this spot to build their monastery in Norfolk. Although the friary at Burnham Norton was never very important, it was the earliest in the county of the White Friars. The Carmelites had come here from Mount Carmel in Palestine after being driven out by the Turks in 1238. Apart from its recorded history, all that remains of the friary is its gatehouse in a meadow conveniently beside the local school. In particular, there were some pictures of horsemen in the sea. Well, we wondered what it could be, and so we phoned up a friend of mine, Henry Bett, who lives on the coast near Brancaster, and said, do you know anything about it? Yes, he said, I remember them as a child. They were shrimping. At the same time, by sheer coincidence, we heard that this was going on still in Belgium. It's curious that this picturesque remnant of our own history has been carrying on unnoticed just the other side of the English Channel. <laughs> Jimmy, have you heard the cook go? <laughs> After harvest, we used to have a good hawkey. The most farms. Yes, we harvest used... supper, they're called yeah, it my yes. way. Yes, hawkey, and I mean, we had broad beans and pork all boiled together. And well, that... that made that old pork some bloody brown, didn't Yes, it? that was <laughs> as brown as a berry. <laughs> That was good stuff. <laughs> and we used to have beer and mangle wine all mixed up together, and there weren't many of the harvest men already what was drunk. Yes. Still, we used to have some fun. Yes. Rabbit kitchen and all sorts. And yes, well, you see, after we got the rabbits, we used to put them up for auction, you know. Yes. You'd get a, after you'd get a pair of bloody good rabbits for threepence and perhaps for fourpence and yes. perhaps for sixpence. It just depends how they were selling that day. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was not Brand for us to get 30 or 40 rabbits. No. After we mill a field of barley. We always used to have uh, yeah. old beer, yeah. what was brewed in March. That's right. Ready for harvest. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got a couple of three points of that, you knew you'd had a drink. Yeah. And so did your bloody legs because you're an arse overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this was counted a lovely time. Yes, that was. That was lovely enough, too. When you started work, the bloody soon knocked you up, didn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> you was glad to leave off at 7 o'clock. Oh, yes. Well, I was, because I was only a kid, really. There's some of these buggers, they want some of that medicine now. Oh, yes. They wouldn't be walking up the street on the bloody dole with a great gut sticking out, would they? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, uh... <laughs> Huh? 
Nej, jag har en fan. Ja, 